Volkswagen's transporter van is stronger than ever in revised fifth generation guise, thanks to more efficient common rail diesel engines, a higher safety spec and a generous dose of the latest electronic technology. As a relatively affordable yet high quality choice in the transit class medium sized van sector, it's difficult to ignore. The Volkswagen way of doing things should translate well into the commercial vehicle sector and usually does. The German brand favours low key but functional design, uh, letting its build quality and engineering do most of the talking. Now it's the kind of approach that served models like this transporter panel van very nicely down the years, offering buyers of medium sized vans Mercedes Vito quality at prices not too far removed from a Ford Transit. But quality at an affordable cost is alone no longer quite enough in the current market. Hence the need for this improved version of the T5 fifth generation model. A smarter look points to the provision of much smarter common rail diesel engine wear under the bonnet, along with a succession of electronic gadgetry borrowed from the latest passenger car development. Yet this no-nonsense design has managed to remain simple, effective and well suited to the needs of its operators. So everything's changed, but nothing's different. Exactly as you would expect from a Volkswagen. Now, Volkswagen took their time adopting more efficient common rail diesel technology, but they've certainly embraced it now across all versions of the four cylinder, two litre TDI unit that's here on offer. It's certainly a versatile engine, offered in 82, 104, 140, and 180 brake horsepower guises. Now, the lower powered versions don't sound like much to get a, a heavily laden transporter off the line, but even the 82 brake horsepower model uh, offers 220 Newton meters of torque from low down in the rev range, as little as 1,250 RPM, with traction control to help translate that grunt onto wet tarmac. Go for the uh, 180 brake horsepower version with its twin turbochargers and you've got 400 newton meters of torque to get your heavily laden transporter off the line and back in time for the football. Now lesser versions have a five speed manual gearbox, further up the range variants like this one have a six speed manual box and uh, at the top of the range there's also the option of Volkswagen's clever seven speed DSG semi-automatic twin clutch gearbox and uh, the option on top models of uh, four motion four wheel drive. What I think is most important though, is that all transporters benefit from potentially life-saving ESP stability control system to help you out if you enter a corner too fast or if you're on a slippery surface. And uh, if you're towing something heavy and 2,200 kilograms of brake towing weight is no problem in this vehicle, then the ESP system will also uh, keep that stable too. The software also has built in a, a, a neat hill holder function to keep you drifting backwards at uphill junctions. So far so good, but what's it actually like to drive? Well, quietly efficient probably sums it up. Uh, the quiet bit is quite significant. Volkswagen reckons that this uh, version is up to 50% quieter than the uh, pre-facelifted model, uh, and that'll make quite a difference after a long day at the wheel. As for the efficient bit, well, let me put forward the braking system as an example. There's ABS, of course, with uh, electronic brake force distribution and uh, electronic braking, braking control to maximize its effectiveness. And when you slam on the brakes in, a, uh, in an emergency situation, the brake lights flash rapidly to alert following drivers. And then when you finally screech to a stop, the hazard warning flashes uh, go on automatically neat. The transporter's traditionally precise handling remains, with plenty of feedback through the redesigned steering, a slick gear change, and a Germanically firm but by no means unpleasant standard of ride. It's a manoeuvrable vehicle too, considering its size, with an 11.9 meter wall-to-wall -wall turning circle. This revised fifth generation transporter looks a, a sharper proposition. Its slimline front grille merging with sleeker uh, front headlamps incorporating LED running lights, uh, forming a band across the front of the vehicle not dissimilar to that of many Volkswagen passenger cars. 
It's a pity though that there are no side rubbing strips to protect against minor scrapes and scratches. At the wheel, there are the expected driver and passenger airbags, plus a, a height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Sliding across the cabin, uh, it's slightly impeded by the way that this gear lever is mounted on a, on a curving uh, piece of fascia here, but it, uh, its location does make it easy to use. One design touch I wasn't quite sure about is the way that these more aerodynamic door mirrors now house the GPS, phone and radio antennae. Bashing them, as van drivers tend to do, could be expensive. Still, there are plenty more thoughtful design touches dotted around the cabin. The door bins, for example, there are upper and lower bins. The lower bin capable of holding both a 1.5 litre bottle of drink and an A4 clipboard. There's the option of uh, storage under the uh, passenger seat and a, uh, a net on the side of the dashboard here for documents. You've got uh, twin cup holders when you pull out the ashtray here for your McDonald's breakfast. And there's a deep compartment in the center above your head here for storing your sunglasses. List prices see this transporter range pitched uh, anywhere between 16 and 26,000 pounds, with most models residing in the 17 to 21,000 pound bracket. That's all, of course, excluding VAT. Now, that's pretty much uh, the kind of figures you'd expect from a vehicle competing with slightly cheaper Ford Transits, Vauxhall Vivaros, Renault Traffics, Citroen Dispatches, and Peugeot Experts. But it's slightly cheaper than a higher quality alternative like, say, Mercedes Vito. There's the usual short or long wheelbase models, plus the expected low, medium, or high roof heights. And that's just the panel van range. Volkswagen also offers a, a transporter chassis cab. There's a window van, or minibus to you or I, and a combi version. Now the combi is probably the most interesting. It offers a removable three-person bench that sits just behind the front seats, offering your transporter a potential six-person capacity with still a usefully sized luggage area behind. You may also want to consider the Caravel uh, MPV people carrier and also the California camper van, both also transporter based and also benefiting from the latest revisions. Whichever transporter model you choose, you can expect to find an equipment list that runs to remote central locking, twin airbags, ABS brakes, and impressively, ESP stability control to help you out if you enter a corner too fast or if you're on an icy surface. It's a pity though that Volkswagen only offers a tire sealer and uh, inflator rather than a full size spare. Of course, there's also a lengthy options list which runs to items like a full size bulkhead with or without a window, a reverse parking camera, um, a tire pressure monitor, and a 30 gig hard disk based satellite navigation system. The van's safety credentials can also be boosted by uh, a blind spot monitor which warns you if there are vehicles coming up in your blind spot and you've also got the option of a, a cornering lighting system which swivels the front fog lamps to illuminate the direction in which you're turning. Practicality first, let's start with the basics. Vehicle length varies between 4,892mm and 5,292mm, depending on your choice between short or long wheelbase models. As for load volume, well that's anything from 5.8 to 9.3 cubic metres, depending on your choice between low, medium or high roof variants. Uh, then that leaves payload. That can vary anywhere between 749 and a heavy duty 1,333 kilograms, depending on your choice of model. One way of accessing all that space is via this sliding side door, which has dimensions 1,020 by 1,284 millimeters, and there's a helpful step concealed just inside it. But of course, most of the time, you'll be using the usual twin door arrangement. The doors themselves, as normal with this kind of vehicle, open out to either 90 degrees or 180 degrees, creating an aperture that's 1,486 millimeters wide by 1,305 millimeters high. There's a reasonable rear loading height of 566 millimeters to hump your stuff over into a well illuminated rear compartment that offers you 1,244 millimeters between these wheel arches and 1,410 millimeters of height. There are six 
lashing points on the floor to stop your loads moving about and side lashing points are optional. Now Volkswagen reckons that this facelifted fifth generation transporter model should be about 20% uh, cheaper to run than the pre-facelifted version. And of course its engine complies with the more stringent Euro 5 exhaust emission regulations. Uh, you should expect to achieve between 35 and 38 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle, while CO2 emissions uh, should dip below the 200 grams per kilometre barrier for the lower powered versions. An in-dash display which shows you what gear you need to be in to achieve optimum fuel economy should enable operators to get somewhere close to those quoted figures on a regular basis. Servicing costs have been cut too with intervals of up to two years or 25,000 miles and there's extra longevity for key items. A, a timing belt for example would now last you 130,500 miles. You get a three year 100,000 mile mechanical warranty with three years of pan-European roadside assistance and recovery. There's a 12 year anti-corrosion warranty and three years of paintwork cover. As every business knows, the cheapest option isn't always the most cost-effective one. In the transit class medium-sized van sector, this transporter is a perfect example of that. Certainly there, there are cheaper alternatives, but they can't match this Volkswagen's build quality or its residual values. Marrying those virtues with more efficient engines and more advanced technology has further underlined this product's importance for potential business customers. Like the vehicle itself, this Volkswagen's market proposition remains as solid as ever.